and welcome to Wrestling Mastermind. I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, joined by some of What Culture's greatest minds, and Andy Murray's here as well to test their knowledge on all of our specialist subjects, WWE. And if you like this quiz, do let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and maybe we'll do an AEW one as well. The rules are very simple here. Every contestant will get 10 questions or 90 seconds, whatever happens first. And the two contestants with the highest scores out of the first round will go through to face each other in the grand final. So without further ado, let's meet today's contestant. Contestant number one, what's your name? Where'd you come from? I'm Andy Murray from the pit of hell. <laughs> are you ready? Like Zack Ryder, I'm always ready. <laughs> With a Z. Okay, and let's begin. Bray Wyatt defeated LA Knight at this year's Royal Rumble in what type of match? Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Correct. CM Punk cashed in his first Money in the Bank contract against who? Uh, Dirty Bertie Del Rio. It wasn't. Next question. How many German suplexes did Brock Lesnar give John Cena in the SummerSlam 2014 main event? 18? It's 16. <sighs> Who was the first entrant in the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble in 2018? Becky Lynch. It was Sasha Banks. The Undertaker returned to his dead man gimmick at which WrestleMania? Uh, I am doing very poorly. 22. T WrestleMania 20. Okay. Which foot of Eddie Guerrero's did the boot come off in his win over Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 20? Left or right? It's a literal coin flip. Right. It's left. <laughs> <laughs> Who won the first ever Elimination Chamber match? Uh, Triple H. It was Shawn Michaels. Cool! <laughs> when Brock returned in 2012 and f 5 to John Cena, what colour t-shirt was John Cena wearing? Green. It is green. Yes. Knowledge. Who has lost the most matches at WrestleMania? Green. It's Triple H. What year did The Undertaker win the Royal Rumble match? Ah, uh, uh, two, uh, uh, 2002. 2007. Okay. And that is your 10 questions. You, of course, scored two, two out, of ten. <laughs> out of ten. Thank you so much for playing, Andy. Let's move on to the next contestant. So we are here with contestant number two. What's your name? Where do you come from? I'm Michael Hamflit from the past. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about this after Andy's effort? Absolutely petrified. Okay, well, best of luck. Thank you. Your 10 questions and 90 seconds start now. Snoop Dogg infamously beat The Miz on night two of this year's WrestleMania, but who beat The Miz on night one? Oh, pass. It was Pat McAfee. Yeah. How many days was Jinder Mahal WWE champion? Too many, like 210. 170 days. Who was crowned the first ever Divas champion at the Great American Bash 2008. Michelle McCool. It was Michelle McCool. Goldberg debuted on Raw the day after which WrestleMania? 19. Correct. Which earlobe of Jeff Hardy's did Randy Orton shove a screwdriver in at Hell in a Cell 2018, left or right? Uh, working the left, brother. It was the left. Uh, who was CM Punk facing when he accidentally pooed himself on SmackDown? Dean Ambrose. It was Dean Ambrose. Which match concept did Chris Jericho invent? Money in the Bank. Correct. Who was the last person eliminated when Roman Reigns won the Rumble in 2015? Rusev. It was Rusev. The inaugural backlash ended with The Undertaker saying what three words? Where to, Stephanie? Indeed. Uh, what year was the first ever Survivor Series? 1987. It was. Congratulations, Michael Hamlet. You scored five correct answers. Thank you very much for playing. On to contestant number three. What's your name and where do you come from? My name is Si and I'm from the other side. Yes. Hamlet didn't do it, so I mean, someone has to. Uh, 10 questions, 90 seconds. Your time, Si, starts now. KSI appeared at WrestleMania this year dressed as a prime bottle, but what <laughs> colour was it? Uh, was it like lime green? It wasn't, it was blue. Oh. What was the name of the boxing tournament that culminated at WrestleMania 15? Brawl for all. Correct. How many men did Braun Strowman eliminate at the Greatest Royal Rumble? 12. 13. Oh. Who entered the Triangle Ladder Match at WrestleMania 2000 as Tag Team Champions? Oh, I have no idea. The Hardys? It's the Dudleys. Oh. Brock Lesnar F5'd Michael Cole on the Raw after WrestleMania in 2015. But which of Michael Cole's <laughs> shoes came off? <laughs> left or right? Left. It is yeah. left. Edge won the first Money in the Bank match ever. But what pay-per-view did he cash in at? Oh my goodness. Backlash. It was New Year's Revolution. What was the first, sorry, who was the first name on the list of Jericho? 
Kevin Owens? That nah, can't be right. It uh, was Mick right. Foley. Yeah. Big Show beat Kurt Angle at Backlash 2000 dressed as which wrestling legend? Hogan. It was Hulk Hogan. Yeah. The Miz main evented which WrestleMania? 24. 27. Okay. What year was Curtis Axel never eliminated from the Rumble <laughs> despite being in it? 2015. It was yes. 2015. That is your 10 questions, Si. And you scored right. four. Congratulations. Thanks so much for playing. Cool. On to today's final contestant. Four will get you a tiebreaker. Five will send you through to the final with Michael Hamford. What's your name? Where'd you come from? Uh, I'm Gareth and I live in this hat. Gareth, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> 10 questions, 90 seconds. Your time starts now. Who was the final entrant in this year's men's Royal Rumble match? Cody Rhodes. It was Cody Rhodes. At which pay-per-view was the first Elimination Chamber match contested? Survivor Series. It was Survivor Series. Who was Shawn Michaels' tag partner at Backlash 2006? God! It was God. How many seconds, according to Wikipedia, was Randy Orton's match against Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam 2013? Uh, five. Eight seconds. Which leg did Bret Hart pretend to break ahead of WrestleMania 26, left or right? Right. Left. Who did Big Show allegedly replace on Team WWF at Survivor Series 2001? Uh, Austin. Vince McMahon. What was on the line when X-Pac faced Jeff Jarrett at SummerSlam 1998? China? Hair. Oh, Bobby Lassie <laughs> represented Donald Trump at which WrestleMania? 23. It was 23. Whose spot did Becky Lynch take in the 2018? Lana. It was Lana. Uh, what year did the first Money in the Bank ladder match take place? Uh, 2005. It was 2005. And you scored six. Whoa. Congratulations, Gareth. You're through to the final to face Michael Hamler. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. So here we are in the grand final. It is Gareth Morgan versus my contestant right now, Michael Hamlet. Michael, you scored five in the first round. You get another 10 questions now. We'll combine your score in this round with the previous round. Uh, and whoever out of you and Gareth has the highest combined score at the end is the winner. Another 10 questions, but no time limit on this one. So just take as long as you need. Are you ready? No. Okay. Question number one. What type of beer was Austin's beer truck carrying? Cause Light? It was Cause Light. Who was the first person to enter the Royal Rumble that is younger than the match itself? <sighs> Seth Rollins. Bo Dallas. Who faced Adam Cole for the NXT Championship at the 2019 Survivor Series? I was there. Um, oh, yeah. Pete Dunne. It was Pete Dunne. Stone Cold filled Mr. McMahon's car with cement on Monday Night Raw, but what type of car was it? Corvette. It was a Corvette. How old was Randy Orton when he won the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam 2004? 24. It was 24. Next question. What order did the three faces of Foley enter the 1998 Royal Rumble? Cactus Jack, Mankind, Dude Love. Is correct. Whose spot did Nia Jax take in the 2019 Men's Royal Rumble match? Our truth It was our truth Who left WrestleMania X8 as hardcore champion? Uh, Running through it in your head. Yeah. Maven? It was Maven. Who handed Roman Reigns his first pinfall loss in a singles match on the main roster? Oh. Now, I do like my trips to the cinema, but this wasn't Jay so. No. Uh, Daniel Bryan. It was Big Show. Ah, of course it was. Big show. Which WWE legend did Umanga attack when he debuted on the Raw after WrestleMania? Ric Flair. It was Ric Flair. That is your 10 questions, and you scored 13. Eight to, eight to 13. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks so much. Welcome back, Gareth Morgan. You scored six points in the first round, which means you need to score seven to take it to a tiebreaker, eight to win today's game of Wrestling Mastermind. Another 10 questions, no time limit though, so feel free to take your time on each question. Are you ready? Pass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> question number one. What was the first title Chris Jericho won in WWE? The European. The Intercontinental Championship. At what pay-per-view did Chris Jericho become undisputed champion? Unforgiven. Vengeance. 
Who did Dolph Ziggler cash in on to win the World Heavyweight Championship on Monday Night Raw? Alberto Del Rio. It was Alberto Del Rio. What was the name of the group featuring Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase and Randy Orton? Legacy. It was Legacy. Daniel Bryan was once briefly fired by WWE for choking Justin Roberts with what? Part of me wants to say tie, part of me wants to say a cable. Mm. Tie. It is tie. Who invented the Elimination Chamber concept? In kayfabe. Oh yeah, I'll take either. Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff, I'll take. It was Triple H, but I will accept okay. Eric Bischoff because yeah. I didn't specify yeah. there. Who introduced Sami Zayn as John Cena's opponent for his US Open Challenge in Canada? The Hitman. It was Bret Hart. What five words did Roman Reigns say on the Raw after WrestleMania 33? It's my yard now. This is my this yard, is my yard now. now. I think I, we'll, we'll circle back to that one. Next question. <laughs> Who did the Wyatt family first attack on the main roster? Kane. It was Kane. And who holds the record for the shortest time in a Royal Rumble that includes an elimination? Santino Morella. It's MVP. Right, I'll lean over to my judges now. Oh. If we include this is my odd now, how many did he get? 13 total. We'll take that. Yes! Let's go to a tiebreaker. <laughs> Technicality. So we are here in the tiebreaker round. And just to make this super interesting, we're going to have three tiebreaker questions. Yourself, Gareth Morgan, and Michael Hamlet are each going to give us three answers. And whoever gets two out of three closest to the correct answer is the winner of today's Wrestling Mastermind because we just want to make things really interesting. So take your time. Michael Hamlet's not in the room, by the way. He's not just sat over there listening to the questions. Are you ready? Yes, Triple H. How many seconds was Triple H's match with the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania? I want to say it was like a minute and something, so I'm going to go. I've written about this. That's annoying. Um, I'm going to go 100 seconds. Okay. Clean 100. It's nice and short. I <laughs> could have learned a thing or two from that one. <laughs> Warrior taught him to work. Um, I think it was one thirty-nine. So that would be nineteen. I was nearly getting my maths wrong. Uh, Ninety-nine seconds. I'm going to go for. Ninety-nine seconds. Okay. How many one-on-one -on -one pay per view matches have there been between Randy Orton and John Cena? Pay per view matches. Pay per view matches. Singles matches as well. I think nine. that moment in the Rumble, yeah. <laughs> when they tried to sell another one and no one came. Nope. You're saying nine. I'm going to okay. go nine, yeah. How long have I got? Uh, too many. One on one singles pay per view. Matches. Oh, you want a number? Not yes. like an opinion. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with seven. Okay. Finally, how many tacks did Chris Jericho get removed from his body after the Ambrose Asylum match at Extreme Rules 2016? <laughs> Boss can't. <laughs> I'm going to go 56. A number popped in my head there, and I'm not just saying it because it's nice. I'm going to go with 69. Okay. Those are your three tiebreaker questions. Yeah. Let's get Gareth back in here and find out the winner of today's Wrestling Mastermind. So we are rejoined by today's finalists, Gareth Morgan, Michael Hamflet. You were given three tiebreaker questions. We're going to run through your answers and reveal who got the closest answer. We're going to go in reverse order just to make things interesting. So the last question I asked you was how many tacks did Chris Jericho get removed from his body after the Ambrose Asylum match at Extreme Rules 2016? Gareth Morgan, your answer was 56. Yeah. Michael Hamlet, your answer was 69. Funny number. <sighs> Not only is it a funny number, it is the exact oh. amount, according to Chris Jericho, on I believe an Inside the Ropes interview that he revealed was removed from his body. So one point to you, Michael Hamflet. I thank Chris Jericho for his terrible partner. The <laughs> second question, it's definitely true. The second question <laughs> I asked you was how many one-on-one -on -one pay per view matches have there been between John Cena and Randy Orton? Michael Hamflet, the answer you gave was 
And the answer you gave, Gareth, was? Nine. And the correct answer was 10, which means Gareth gets the point. We go through to the final question. The question was, how many seconds was Triple H's match with the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania? Michael Hamflick, the answer you gave was? Uh, 99. Right. Gareth Morgan, the answer you gave was? 100. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you, the Ultimate Warrior versus Triple H at WrestleMania lasted 100 seconds, oh. exactly. <laughs> Gareth Morgan, you are the winner of today's wrestling line. Wrestling, you are the winner of today's wrestling mastermind. WWE is clearly your specialist subject. Congratulations. Thank you both for playing. Thank you to all of our contestants for playing. <laughs> the side, <laughs> Peter, Andy, thank you for joining us. Let us know how you got in the comments section below and if you'd like to see us do an AW version of this as well. But for now, this has been Wrestling Mastermind. We'll see you soon. I'm going to all in. <laughs> <laughs>